Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick, and as you can tell, I'm uh, getting antsy to build something, and um, so I decided that this model came in the uh, mail the other day, and uh, it is the Encanto Disney movie Madrigal House. Now, there's been a little bit of controversy about this, and I'll talk about that for a minute, but um, I just want to let you know that, you know what, as part of my rehab, I think I'm going to put this together right now because our family absolutely loves this house and this movie and the music from it and everything like that. So uh, let's get started. All right, everybody. Now, I do not usually do reviews. It's been a long time since I've done reviews and things on sets. But again, I'm part of my. It's part of my rehab just to kind of get out there and to uh, to to do a few things, and it helps my fine motor movement, as the doctors and nurses said, to start to piece some of this together. And you know, this is a really cool set. Now, it's only half a dollhouse set, um, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do to it and how I'm going to use it in. Six Figs Amusement Park. So um, I'm going to start to build it. I won't talk too much about it um, until the end, and then I'll give you a little review and stuff. But uh, if, if you like it, stick with me. Um, it's a six plus set, not that big of a deal, but there are some really cool things in it. And although it's a friend set, I will use it as a mini fig set. Okay, so I'm not up in the studio. I'm actually down here in the kitchen um, <laughs> on the counter um, because I, I'm just trying to take it easy and um, not uh, get up in the studio and stuff. So anyway, so it comes with five bags. Again, it's a six plus set. Comes with five easy bags um, and uh, we'll uh, get started and, and start to build it. And it comes with the, uh, the manual, which is a nice, uh, decently thick manual, but it's also very small. So it should be pretty easy for the youngins to put together. And it comes with a sticker sheet. Not many stickers in this one, um, but uh, we'll see what happens. Boy, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, that sounds wonderful. After weeks and weeks and over a month or two in the hospital, this, this is a sound to my ears. I absolutely love it. I mean, I can't even explain, explain how excited I am to hear this sound. Okay, hey, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe. Um, again, I'm uh, going along here and I'm trying to put everything together. It's looking pretty good. Um, so far, so good. And uh, we'll keep plugging along at that. And... Um, not gonna, not gonna show you too much about how I use my fingers and stuff because I'm still trying to, trying to get everything to snap together and and use the fine motor movements. But this is very helpful, and um, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Well, this certainly is when you start to know that you had brain surgery a few weeks ago, <laughs> when it's bag number three on a six plus set, and you're already exhausted. Um, and you know what? I'm a very lucky person with my surgery, but it puts you in a fog and it slows you down a little bit, a lot, um, and it makes you more methodical um, and everything like that. So um, yeah, so it's bag number three and I'm already tired. So I'm gonna do bag number three. And then I think I'm gonna take a break. And the main reason is because when your head is down, um, then there's pressure on your head, in your head, and you can feel it more. Um, when your head is straight up and you're looking straight up, um, you don't feel it as much um, because of uh, the pressure in your head and stuff. But because I'm, I had to put my head down and look at the instruction manual and stuff, it's a little more exhausting than I thought it would be. This is my life under rehab. Time for bag number four. So Adrian just walked in and um, I was just, he looked at me, he's like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, man, I'm doing this, but I'm on bag number four. And I'm totally exhausted. And he looks at me in typical teenage, teenager fashion and says, you're exhausted. I just walked two miles home from school. <laughs> I got to give it to the kids um, because I can't drive and because their mom's working. Um, they have to walk home from school. And Piper only has to walk home from the bus stop, which is here in our neighborhood. But uh, Adrian has to walk all the way home from high school, which is about two miles. So I got to give it to him in this Florida heat. Okay, this house has L-E-G-O spelled all over it. This is a six plus set, but they cram so much into this. I just had to show you everything that's going on with this house. 
This to me now, it took me a while to do because um, I just had brain surgery, so it's a little slow on my end. I wanna let you know that I just don't sit around and play Lego all day. I actually rehab and you know do my laps and everything inside and outside and go up to stairs and do all kinds of stuff. So, um, so anyway, but it did take me a while, it kind of tiring because of my situation, but uh, normally I could blast through this in about 20 minutes. Um, and I will again, but anyway, Look at the colors on this thing. Now, I know there was some controversy because it wasn't the whole, 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 the whole house, and a lot of people wanted it to be the whole house, but, um, you know, you can't really do that for a six-plus set, and LEGO has so many different, you know, adult sets now and things like that, so let's just, let's give something to the kids, right? And let's give something that's fun and easy to play with and easy to build. This was. Now, it's a friend set, and a lot of people don't like the friend set because of the, the, the coloring. I think for this particular house, the coloring is excellent because this house was painted various different colors in the movie. It became different colors in the movie and um, it was just really, really cool. And as we look at this set, um, we go down here and we see just the beginnings of the house and things like that. The roof was very easy to make. Oops, it looks like I made that sideways, sorry. Um, very easy to make. Little flourishes like this add to it a lot. Um, just add to it and kind of cover up some of the holes that you might see. Um, and some of the gaps and things like that. I would encourage you when you're making your own mocks to um, use things like this, color, flowers, butterflies, all kinds of stuff to make it just stick out and to cover up some gaps that you might have and things like that. Um, it really does help. And there's nothing wrong with using two different types of colors. You know, we get so caught up in making things realistic in Lego, especially us A-Falls, and we try to make things look real and look like it's a real city and it's gonna be, you know, somebody would live in it and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's great, and I've done that too. I have over 300 videos that show me doing that. Um, but at the same time, this is what Lego's about, people. It's about color, it's about fun, it's about whimsy, it's about excitement. It's about putting flowers on different things and, and making things stick out. It's about making the model in the set into something that you want to make and not necessarily what anybody else would want you to make. Um, it is a really, really cool set. And from the colors all the way from the top of the tower, all the way to the top of the needle, down to the most important part of the movie, without any spoilers, the candle, um, we can see right there in the window. I wish they'd have given that a little bit more thought um, in terms of uh, a little bit more placement in this model. Um, to the very simple palm tree, and I know people hate these palm trees for the way they are, and actually I should probably put this, um, I don't know, maybe I should put this this way uh, to, uh, to make it, uh, whoa, um, to make it kind of stick up like a palm tree, but I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, the great thing is you can add to it. The color of the door, the orange around the teal door just makes it, and it's something that we may not think about in real life. The green on top of the yellow, um, the way the roof is very simply put on, very simply put on just, and gives the uh, six plus folks um, the, uh, the techniques that they need as they grow up and as they get older and learning how to do things. The chimney that turns from rainbow to cloudy um, and uh, that has significance in the movie. Uh, the aerial with the antenna, things like that. Um, all of this makes really cool, really a cool model. Now it's not very deep, um, but they cram so many details in to this model. Now let me show you here. Um, let's see. There we go, look at this. I'm gonna start from the bottom and show you all of the details. Now, this is a dollhouse build, so it's real close um, and not very wide, as you can see. So if you're using minifigures in here, you got a lot of place to put them. If you're using mini dolls, you got a lot of place to put them. But if we just look in here, we can see that they have a sink. The drawers open up, and uh, in the drawer, there's spoons and, and knives and forks and things. They use a couple of the little plants back there in a bottle, um, and then they give you a stove with an oven and a place to put your tea. They use a lot of stickers in this, um, and the stickers really tell the story of the movie um, and really are kind of homages to the movie, which is really cool. There's Hagrid's umbrella in an umbrella stand. This right here is really cool, and I know it's been shown off by other reviewers, um, but this is an old Victrola-looking machine, um, just with a miner's hat and a, and a record player. That is really awesome, and everything kind of pops out on these jumpers and stuff. The table back here, look how much stuff is on that table. Now tell me, you'd get that much stuff on a table in a regular city set. 
No, you don't. You don't get all that stuff. You basically would get something simple. Now behind there, and you can't see it, I'll pull it out in a minute. First of all, let's take these chairs off the jumper. There's three chairs for the three micro or mini dolls that come with it, um, and uh, or mini figs that you can put in there. Um, it's really tight in there if you do. But if we take this table out, and uh, it's on a jumper as well. And again, my hands are a little bit weird because of uh, my situation. But uh, I will get there. I'll get back to normal Dr. McBrick. But look at that on that table. I mean, that, we got grapes and eggs and chicken legs and, and, and cups and everything. And that is amazing. And then in here is the family tree that we all know if we've seen the movie with all of the different people in it. Um, and so there's homages to everything in the movie. We go up here and here's a little living area and things like that with a wonderful couch build. Um, there's in the back there, they use a little bit of mandrake to uh, stick uh, some, some flowers on uh, and things like that. There's a door with a beautiful mural that leads out to the next room, a bedroom here. There's a play feature on this bed that you can actually, on the side here, you can open up the window and then you can also dump the bed. So the person dumps out, falls to their death, boom, 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 down here. Um, not sure you know, if that's really a safety thing or not, but, um, but anyway, uh, that's, that's that. Um, they've just done a wonderful job with all of the detail. And just think of how much they've crammed into this little space. Up here, they have another wonderful detail with the mural and things like that. Another bed up here. I'd hate to roll off that bed because then you got a real fall. Um, and the tower up here and things like that. So there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of space at all in this. Um, everything is on jumpers, so you are able to take it out, which is really really nice. Um, and uh, you can put things back very nicely. Um, but uh, it really is a great, great model. They cram a lot in, a lot of color. It, it's very whimsical. It's very much like the movie. Um, it would be great if it were a full house. I had thought about buying a couple of them and making it into the full house because you know there's doors in, in the hallway and each kid has their door. Um, and we're not going to talk about Bruno. We're not going to talk about Bruno. Um, but uh, anyway, so, um, you know, but I thought to myself, you know, what could I do with this? What could I do with this? Well, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to, I mentioned in Six Figs, I'm going to make a uh, medieval area. And this area, this house here is going to be hidden in the back of Six Figs. And it's going to be have a lot of foliage around it. So it's going to be hard to see unless we get down and walk around to it and stuff in the park. Um, and that's going to be, I think, really cool. It's going to have foliage grown up over it and everything like that. A little lake down here. Um, and it's just, just going to be sitting back there. Hidden. No big deal. It can be something that, that the patrons of the park walk through, that sort of thing. But uh, I have some ideas for it. But I'm not going to make it into a regular build um, in terms of a full house because, you know, there's a lot of people doing that and that's fine. Um, but I'm at a point where, uh, you know, I like to have a little whimsy. And um, I think you're going to see a little more whimsy and a little more flair in some of my builds. Of course, I'll still keep with the realism um, to a certain extent to show that, you know, it is real. The theme park can be used, you know, by real people and stuff like that. Um, and six figs but at the same time i'm going to start building some whimsy whimsical stuff because you know after you've gone through what i've gone through and I'll, i won't belabor the point but um you you think about life in a different way and you think about life in a different perspective and what it means to live what it means to build what it means to just be yourself and who you really are um, and not be stuck in a particular mold so you build technic you build um, cities you build theme parks you build different sets and models and and just go for it I would say if you're going to buy a parts pack, this is probably probably okay. It has a lot of good color bricks to it, especially if you're going to add on to like Diagon Alley and stuff with some of these colors. Um, but and it has a lot of details in it, um, that sort of thing. But it 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 probably I don't know. It could be worth a parts pack. It could not be depending on what you're using it for. Um, but you know, buying one set of it and enjoying it, um, and maybe they'll come out with other sets as well. Um, that would be good. Let me come over here and show you the uh, the remnants of. Uh, what you get left. This is the, uh, I don't know, maybe I wasn't supposed to, maybe I was supposed to use this for something. But anyway, that is what I had left. It comes with three figures. Um, and uh, we are not going to talk about Bruno. We're not going to talk about Bruno. 
And now that that earworm is in your ear, um, enjoy the song. Uh, <laughs> but it comes with three uh, mini figs or, um, or mini dolls, so to speak. Um, it is a friend set. And you know what? I like friend sets, not because of the mini dolls. Now, Piper used to love these mini dolls. But right there, there's an accordion. And um, we don't get accordions much. And that is compatible with mini figs. Um, as is everything with a mini doll house. Um, and the hair is also now compatible. So I will keep the hair. That is the uh, set number 43202 from Disney. And um, enjoy it. And uh, if you were so, so inclined, it's kind of hard to pick up. I find I found mine at Walmart for the same price as the Lego shop at home because um, they were all sold out and everything. And sometimes Barnes & Noble has them as well. So with that said, thanks for uh, tuning in. I know this will probably be a low viewing video, but you know what? That's the way it is now. And um, I will get back to building Six Figs and Figsdale in the future. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.